you know, there's a real good chance that pretty soon all these big trucks out here on the highway are going to be governed at the same speed. Yeah, we've talked about it before, speed limiters in the FMCSA. We've talked about it a couple times, but they have a little update that I wanted to bring you, and I will bring that to you in just a few minutes. But first, let's go over what we do know. The FMCSA put forth the rule to have all commercial vehicles, commercial motor vehicles, limited to the same speed, and they would have to be limited using their engine ECU, okay? That's all we know so far. What we don't know is, they haven't said, what's the speed of the trucks gonna be limited to? They haven't said. I've heard rumors and read rumors anywhere from 58 to 70, right? Those are just the rumors I'm getting. I think most of the rumors I heard were 65 to 68, something like that. We don't know that. What we also don't know is, they have to be regulated on their speed using their engine ECU, right? But how about these older trucks that don't have an ECU on their engine? I think it's, I read somewhere 2003 and before, didn't have the ECU, so those guys gonna be exempt? Or are they just gonna give those guys speeding tickets when they catch them, right? I don't know, they don't say that. I'm sure that's probably how they'll do it. They'll exempt those trucks, but then give you a speeding ticket if you're going over the speed limited rule from the FMCSA. Some people would say, for to me, what does it matter to me? I'm already governed, right? I'm governed at 68 miles per hour in this big old fast side truck, right? 68. What difference it does make to me is that right now, these guys that can do the speed limit, 70, 75 more, can still get around me. Some of them can get around me pretty quick, and some of them have a hard time getting around me, like if they're set at 70, I'm doing 68. But when they have a hard time, I slow down for 20, 30 seconds to let them get around, which is the way you should be doing that, by the way. Now, if they limit all these trucks at the same speed, and we're all going approximately the same speed, that's gonna be a mess, right? Because not every truck's gonna go exactly the same speed. You're gonna have a little bit of differences in the ECUs. Like if you got really low tread on your drive tires like I do on this truck right now, hopefully I'll get some soon. If you're not gonna go the same speed as what your speedometer's saying, you're gonna be going a mile or two an hour slower. So you're gonna have trucks still trying to get around each other and it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna cause a whole lot of congestion traffic jams and it's going to have, going to have a whole lot of frustrated big truck drivers but i think that the people that are going to be mostly upset and frustrated are going to be these four wheelers right you're out in west texas where the speed limit's 80 or 85 miles an hour and you're in a car and you come up to a big old gaggle of trucks doing 65 trying to get around each other and it's blocked in both lanes and it takes you 20, 30 miles for them to get around each other, and then you can get around. Those four-wheelers are going to be frustrated. The update is the public comment period. It was extended. We talked about it in the last video. They extended the time period because they were getting so many comments. There were so many, the record number of comments. The extended date is coming up. You'll see this coming out on Friday the 15th. The last day you can put a public comment on this rulemaking proposal is Monday the 18th. You'll see this Friday, you've got till Monday to put in your comment. So put them in, make them polite, because if they're not polite, they'll just disregard your comment and it won't count. Now they've got, like I said, they've gotten a record number, last I heard a couple days ago, up to 15,000 comments on this rulemaking proposal. We want to make our voices heard, make your voice heard on this, I will put a link to the public comment section for this rulemaking proposal in the description and in a pinned comment. Let everybody know what you think. This rule we don't we don't want for lots of reason. Anyway, go make those comments on the FMCSA website and then come back here and comment on this video what kind of comment you left for them 
tell me what you told them. I appreciate it, and we'll see you later.